seven envoys have presented their letters of accreditation to President Kufado at the Jubilee House. The diplomats pledged to work to strengthen relations between their respective countries and Ghana. Zimbabwe's Ambassador Kufo Edward Chinoza was first to present his credentials. He praised Ghana for his support for the lifting of sanctions on Zimbabwe and pledged to work to promote trade relations between his country and Ghana. We hope Ghana will lead in this campaign in the ECOWAS region. Ghana is stood out in the region with a big voice supporting the removal of sanctions. And our country, my president and the government of Zimbabwe, we really appreciate that support. And we know because of our good relations, that support will continue. We are determined to do whatever we can. The sanctions of the, that some powers in the world have left, levied against Zimbabwe are unacceptable, unjustifiable, and we will continue in concert with our peers on the continent to do everything we can to see to it that they are lifted as soon as possible. Next was the Malian Ambassador Abdullah Datoure, who praised Ghana for a successful year of return program, adding, it is worthy of emulation. Kenya's Elifaz Mogendi Barini was also at the presidency to present his credentials. Indian Commissioner Sugand Rajaram wants the two countries to strengthen cooperation in renewable energy and agriculture and investment. I'm looking forward to explore many other new areas of cooperation. Excellency, I'd also like to explore the areas where we can strengthen the cooperation in trade and investments, where India has been a very strong partner of the New York Ghana. I'm sure to get wholehearted support from your government in strengthening the relations between India and Ghana, bringing the relations between our two countries and bringing the people of our brotherly countries closer. We're very grateful to India in many areas of our national life with that very constructive assistance from India. Um, part of our present program for the development of our railways is taking place with the assistance of Indian companies and even of Indian money. We have it also in our agriculture, we have it in water areas. In several areas of our national life, we see the presence of India there. We welcome it. India is also a fellow member of the Commonwealth, and there are many areas in which we're working together. Next was Togolese Ambassador Kendall Awoki Panasa, who thanked President Ekofado for his effort at ensuring peace and security in Togo. President Ekofado pledged Ghana's commitment to work with Togo to ensure democracy is entrenched in that country. <laughs> 